Hey everyone, I'm John Rasmussen with HK Shooting. If you're anything like me, when you go to the range to practice with your handgun, your goals are probably pretty simple. I'm trying to become a faster and more accurate shooter. It takes work, practice, and training to become a better shooter. And while you can't buy skill or ability, there are some tools and accessories that can make the path to becoming a better shooter a little easier. The sights on a handgun are one of the most commonly upgraded parts, and for good reason. They have a direct impact on the shooter's ability to shoot quickly and accurately. One huge leap forward in sight technology that has occurred relatively recently is the advent of the slide-mounted miniaturized red dot sight. Having a dot projected on a screen that the shooter looks through and not at helps alleviate some of the issues found with traditional iron sights. First, it encourages the shooter to focus on the target or the threat where their focus is probably going to be anyway instead of the sight. And second, for those of us with aging eyes, it's oftentimes easier to focus on something that's distant and downrange rather than something near like your front sight. By eliminating the need to line up the front sight, the rear sight, and the target, the sighting process is simplified and faster. Likewise, most shooters find that having a singular aiming point, the dot, tends to be more precise than traditional iron sights. Up until now, if you wanted a red dot sight mounted on your favorite HK handgun, it probably entailed mailing the slide out to get machined to accept the red dot sight. Well, no longer. I'm excited to share with you today that starting in 2020, all new VP9s will be optic capable. This new VP9 was designed with the goal of securely mounting as many different red dot sights as possible while keeping the overall cost of the firearm low by eliminating unnecessary and unused accessories. The pistol will be shipped with what is essentially a filler plate, and if the user never chooses to use a red dot optic, then no modifications are necessary. But if the user does buy an optic or has an optic already, all they have to do is contact the HK web shop, let them know what sight model they have, and for a small cost, the proper adapter plate will be shipped to them. While the optics cut is the big news on this new pistol, there's more to this new model than just the ability to accept a red dot sight. The new VP9 and all VP9s after will come with an upgraded magazine. HK engineers sprinkled their magic dust on the magazines and were able to modify the followers to increase the capacity to 17 rounds without increasing the overall length of the magazine. The pistol also gets upgraded high contrast metal sights. Taking recommendations from shooters, the sights now incorporate a high visibility front sight paired with a plain black rear sight. Outside of these upgrades, the stellar features of the VP9 have remained unchanged. With better sights, higher capacity standard magazines, and the ability to mount a red dot optic, the new for 2020 VP9 is ready for any challenge. So head on down to your local sporting goods store and try one out. From all of us here at HK, thanks for your time. We'll see you on the range. Outmatched by no one. Walther continues their tradition of superiority with a handgun designed specifically for those who only buy the best and nothing less. This is the ultimate representation of high-class performance in a concealed carry package that just can't be found anywhere else. The new Walther Q4 Steel Frame. When increasing performance on pistols, simply adding weight to the frame provides little difference. The Q4 steel frame is precision machined to properly distribute 40 ounces of weight to drastically reduce felt recoil, improving shooter performance. This revolutionary technique in distributing the overall weight of the pistol creates a superb balance in hand, allowing the shooter to take advantage of the trigger's short reset capability. Grip geometry and texture must be perfect, then aiming becomes second nature. The ergonomics of the Q4 steel frame is a feat in firearms engineering that simply must be felt to be believed. The combination of a reversible oversized magazine release button, recessed ambidextrous slide release, and flawless balance in hand result in the most natural point of aim. The Q4 steel frame features performance duty texture developed by Walther to provide a premium yet functional grip. This performance duty texture provides an aggressiveness to maintain proper grip performance but with its tetrahedron design, it is non-abrasive, providing no irritation to the skin or clothing of the user. Walther has pushed the boundaries of testing in some of the harshest conditions. Whether it's torrential rainfall, extreme heat, and humidity, icy cold temperatures, or thick mud, the performance duty texture of the Q4 steel frame delivers peak performance. With the creation of the PPQ came the quick defense trigger from Walther, a trigger second to none, providing the shooter an alternative to the heavy, spongy striker-fired pistols on the market. The quick defense trigger is a safe two-stage trigger with a crisp break and short reset. The first stage allows for consistent prep with a distinct wall that can be easily found under stressful situations. The second stage is the crisp break of the wall, resulting in accurate shots on target. The reset of the quick defense trigger measures only one-tenth of an inch, 
allowing the shooter to skip the first stage completely and fire the follow-up shot by only moving their finger one-tenth of an inch, resulting in faster, more accurate, and consistent shots on target. The quick defense trigger is known as the best striker fire trigger by nearly every critic. The duty optimized beaver tail provides the shooter increased grip height on the pistol, resulting in reduced felt recoil, optimized for duty retention holsters, providing clearance for retention hoods most used in law enforcement. This beaver tail design also enhances comfortability during concealed carry. The smooth, rounded design allows reduced irritation when carrying Appendix IWB. This design also reduces the amount of print while carrying concealed. Adaptable, efficient, the perfect integration of both professional and tactical dynamics. The Q4 steel frame is unparalleled proficiency in a platform designed to meet your individual needs. Available in iron sight or optic ready. The Q4 steel frame features steel 3-dot phosphoric night sights, which are non-snag and optimized for concealed carry. The Q4 steel frame OR features a black front and black rear adjustable duty sight, while also allowing for the installation of a red dot optic. The Q4 steel frame series is uniquely designed to give you the flexibility of iron sights and optics. The Q4 steel frame from Walther is an accomplishment that encompasses everything shooters desire in a premier concealed carry firearm, capable of outlasting even the toughest conditions. Despite common misconceptions, you can buy performance. Uh, evening, gentlemen. You all know why we're here. Our objective to gain entry is the front left door. Watch your lanes. Any questions? V Team lead. V Team consists of myself will be in the lead, followed by Harkinson with the ladder. He'll post it and we'll gain entry in the aircraft. All right, let's get up and let's get it on. It's load time. Adam Pancho with the SIG Sire Academy. What I've got right here is the P226RX. So what makes the RX special? Well, that's this thing on top, which we're gonna talk about here in just a second. But the bottom half, you've got the venerable 226, the gun carried by elite military units, federal agents, and police officers throughout the world. So the 226 is a double action slash single action pistol, meaning your first shot's a double action, about a 10 pound pull. After the slide cycles, the hammer cocks back, and you're looking at 4.4 pounds of a nice crisp trigger pull. 226, very shootable gun. You have your aluminum anodized black frame, and you have a solid stainless steel slide on the top with front cocking serrations. Those front cocking serrations are real nice for doing status checks, press checks, making sure you got a round in the chamber. So that's a nice feature that it has. And it's got your one-piece E2 style grips. You really get a deep purchase on the gun. It just feels like you're kind of holding on an old baseball glove. Chambered in 9mm, comes with a couple 15 round magazines. What really makes this gun special though is the RX part, the Romeo 1 optic made by our electro optics department of SIG on top. So this is a red dot sight, and this is really revolutionary. This is really changing the way we think about shooting pistols. Uh, instead of just iron sights on the gun, which it has, and we'll talk about those again, it actually has a red dot mounted on top. So boy, I'll talk, talk about fast target acquisition and uh, just really precise shooting. 
eyes open, you know, target focused, not necessarily sight focused. So these are really making a difference in standard pistols out there. What's really cool about the Romeo One optic that's on this gun, it's equipped with MOTAC. Basically what that means is it's motion activated. So you don't have to worry about turning it on or turning off. It's pretty much always on. If you're moving, the gun's moving, the sight's on. So it's a really cool feature. So no on off switch to do with. You do have some intensity adjustments on the left hand side. So you can turn up the brightness of the dot or turn it down depending on your lighting conditions out there, which is a real nice feature. One thing I really like about it, real easy to change the batteries on it. Right on top, battery compartment, pop that off, pop on a new one. Not that you really need to change batteries in this thing very often, but it is there if you need to. Comes zeroed out of the box. So pretty much zeroed out of the box for this 226 9mm pistol. However, if you want to kind of fine tune it for you on the range, you do have a windage and adjustment screw on it and real easy to tweak that up and kind of dial it into whatever distance you like to shoot. So 226RX really kind of changes the way we think about shooting a pistol. Real sick. One other thing I didn't mention, the sights, I did say that they are there and you see that they're a little bit taller. So you can actually use your sights through that window, which is a nice kind of a backup feature. So 226RX. For more information on all SIGSAR products, visit SIGSAR.com and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all our latest videos. Hello everyone, I'm John Rasmussen from the HK Shooting Team, here to talk today about the HK P2000. The P2000 line of handguns is a polymer frame recoil operated handgun chambered in both 40 Smith & Wesson and 9mm. It's offered in a number of different models and variants. Different models of the P2000 include the full-size P2000 and the subcompact P2000SK. Different trigger variants of the P2000 and the 2000SK include the LEM or LEM trigger variant as well as the traditional double action variant. All operating controls on the P2000 and the P2000SK are fully ambidextrous. The P2000 is a choice of a number of federal law enforcement agencies here in the United States as well as agencies around the world. The P2000SK is the smallest handgun that HK produces and is ideally suited for concealed carry use. So head on down to your local sporting goods store and check out any one of the P2000 models. On behalf of HK, thank you for your time and we'll see you on the range.